Hi, today in this video I'll show you how to automatically generate PDFs using form data. So if you want to take user input and generate a PDF based on that input, you can do it easily by watching this video. And by this method we can create sign agreements, contracts, certificates, licenses and much more. And there are three ways we can create these templates. One is to automatically generate a PDF from a form. The second one is to use a pre-made PDF template and map data on it which is the most common one. Let's say you have a certificate and you want to print a username on that. You can do it by the second method. The third one is to use the built-in PDF builder and fill it with the form data. I'll show you all the methods and by the way we are doing these absolutely for free so you don't have to buy any premium plugin. Let me show you the live action. This is a form and if I fill this up, this will generate a PDF like this. And in this PDF we are taking the username, the message and the second name here. So let's see if I fill this with my name, just for example, and this is the level name, and I'll put a message here, and this is just a dummy text. Now if I click submit, this will display a thank you message with a download button. Now you can customize this, like you can display a PDF directly here, or you can send this PDF in an email and you can also put a download button like this one and by the way you can also integrate payments here so you can charge for the pdf if you want to let's download this now let's open this so you can see that we got this name the text and my name and you can also customize this like you can change the font family the colors the background colors and so on so let's see how we can do this and how we can generate PDFs, certificates, licenses, contracts and so on. And for that you will need two free plugins. One is Formulator which is the Firebase plugin for forms. And the second one is E2PDF. And both the links are in the description. You can just follow that or you can just go to your dashboard and then go to plugins. Click on add new and here search for Formulator. You will see this plugin for Minitor, contact form, payment form and custom form builder. Just install this. The second one is E2PDF. As you can see export to PDF tool for Office. Just install and activate this one also. And then we just need to integrate both of these and we will make PDFs. Let's see how. The first thing is we will need to create a form. So you can go to Formulator, Forms. And here you can see that I already have a form which I showed you but you can create a new one so to create a form you can just click on create then you can start with a blank form or any of these templates to save some time so for this let's choose contact form and let's continue we will write a form name like demo form this is just to show you this will create a form for you as you can see first name email phone message now you can customize these fields and you can also insert new fields. If I click this, we have a number of fields that we can add like name, email, phone, address, website and all of these are available for free. Even a file upload. And we have multi-step forms and we can integrate our payments. So if you want to add a new field, you can just click on that and then you can click insert. So let's customize this based on our needs. And I'm going to show you how we can make this PDF. So for this, I'll take one name and a message and then a second name. So to do that, I'll edit this field. I'll call this your name. This is the placeholder. You can change this also. You can go to settings, make it required. You can go to styling, you can give it a CSS class. You can also check its visibility options. But I'm not going in much detail. This is just to show you how we can generate PDFs. I have videos about this plugin already. So this is our first field. And we don't need email so we will remove this. We will also remove the phone number. And then we need another name. So we can click on insert. We can click name and can insert field. And we will call this this. This is just for the website okay. Then we can go to settings and make it required. And let's apply this. And we can drag this to the second position. Or the first position. And this is our message field. 
so we can call this your message and enter your message and that's it that is how you can make the form now just publish this and we are ready to go so let's close this and then we just need to go to a to pdf and here click on templates and here as you can see i already have this certificate so i'll delete this to show you how we can create this and now let's click on add new this will open up this pop-up where you can give it a title like certificate make sure you activate this then you can decide height and width for this you can set a size like a paper size a four letter note legal and so on let's choose this one for now then you can change the fonts you can align this change the font sizes and so on then the most important one is the extension make sure you choose formulator here because we are using this plugin and in the items select the form so we have these forms the one i just created as a demo form so i'll choose that and as i mentioned we have three methods like we can start with an empty pdf we can upload a pdf or you can generate an auto pdf so let's start by uploading a pdf i have this certificate which is empty let me show this is the empty pdf as you can see so we will just upload this and we'll map data on it so to upload this you can click on upload pdf and then you can choose your file so this is the file and this will auto reload the page and will display your pdf now we just need to map data on it so to map data we can use these fields as you can see these are the form fields and we can just drag this now the first thing is we need the name so we can use info field let's drag this here and now let's map this so right click click map field and we can choose a name for this so let's choose this one and as you can see you got name too and now let's display our message here so for that we have used text area let's drag this and right click map field and we'll choose our message field and lastly we can put our second name here so again input right click map field and choose your name so we have name one name two and text area you can change these names in the form now that's it let's test this out so we will update this and then to link this to the form we will need to use its short code so if you click this you will see all the short codes if you want to send this as an attachment you can use this short code and for the download button you can use this short code for the save button you can use this one to view the video directly you can use this one and you can also send this in zip here so you can copy this one so let's choose this one we will copy this and then we'll go back to our form formulator forms i'll open this in a new tab and this is the form that we created so we will edit this and we can go to behavior and after submission this will display a thank you message so just modify this click on this and we will modify this message so instead of this thank you for submitting our submission and here is your pdf then we will just paste that short code and make sure to uncheck this because this will auto hide the message and that's it now click apply one more thing is you can go to fields and you can change the submit button text click on this and instead of send message write something like get pdf click apply update the form and now we need to display this form in a page or in a sidebar or something so for that you can just copy its short code and you can display this everywhere on your website like you can create a new page for this you can edit the page with elementor or any page builder which is very easy so let's go to pages or uh, i have this page so i'll just edit this page okay so let's edit this with elementor we'll scroll down and let's remove this form this was the previous one and i'll search for short code we'll drag this and we'll paste that short code and this will display the form as you can see now you can design this page based on your needs you can edit the column the section and so on so this is our form now i'll just update the page 
and let's view this page and again let's test this so i'll write first name just to show you and second name and a message so let's put some text here and we'll click on get video as you can see thank you for submission this was our message and we have this download so let's download this and let's check this so this is our pdf as you can see first name and the text and then second name so i input these and it display this over the certificate so this was how you can make a ready made pdf template now if you want to make a pdf from start or you can build your own pdf let me show you how for that let's go back to our templates here and let's remove this pdf this will again open this let's call this empty pdf just to try this one okay again you can change the status the height and width then you can choose the page size like letter or something you can change the fonts and so on again we will choose formulator and the demo form and this time we will start with an empty pdf so you will get a blank page that you can make now to put some text and names we can only use html object so you can go to objects and you can drag an html and then you can double click on this and you can write some text like here is your pdf something like this and then you can map your fields again you can use an html and write your name this is just to show you okay and again we will put another one for your message and another one your second name and now we will make our fields here so for that we will switch to fields we will drag an input here like the previous one we will right click make field and we will choose your name then same goes for this one we will drag a text area we will right click make field we will choose our message and same goes for this one now you can also add some text and images to this like if you want to display your logo here you can go to objects you can add an image here then you can click on this choose image and let's use this one and you can also add shapes qr code barcode links and so on as you can see here this is just a simple example for you let's update this and uh, we will check our form again so let's refresh the page by the way this is already linked to the form as i showed you in the success message so if i fill this so we are trying this again so let's put something else new name new name to and a message we'll click get pdf and as you can see empty pdf which was the title let's open this now we have that pdf so this is the text the logo your name your message and the new name and that's it that is how you can start with an empty pdf and let me show you the last method which is auto pdf so for that we can edit the same template here and we will remove this and we'll call this auto pdf just for example again we can choose the size letter and we'll choose the same form here and then we'll click auto pdf and this will auto generate all the fields like we have the first name second name and message so this was the only difference in empty and auto pdf and by the way for this make sure you go to settings and go to extensions and here make sure formulator is not disabled so uncheck this and that's it so these were the three methods one more thing is if you notice this is not looking good because this have border in the background the font is not good the size is not matching same for this one and we want to generate something like this so for that you can do some settings and you can go to settings of this e 2 pdf and by the way this comes up with only one font you can go to fonts and you can upload your own fonts as you can see we have only this font and i have uploaded this one also 
so you can add more fonts to this you can download a font and you can choose a file and you can upload this in these formats and once you upload your desired fonts you can go back to templates and you can edit your template and let's quickly upload our own template so we'll remove this And now to design these, you can click on a field and then you can go to its properties and now you can do the required settings like you can change the width and height of this field. So this is 200 which is fine, I'll change the height only to something like 30. We can give this a field name and we can change the font color so we will click this, we'll make it blue and for the font I'll choose the second font just to show you and font size will be something like this you can decide all of these and you can remove the border here so you can make this zero and now if I click save you can see that it got the font family remove the border same goes for this one you can right click go to properties and you can do the required settings like you can change its width to 400 or something and height will be 350 and uh, same goes for this one we will remove the border and we'll use the default fonts for this and we'll use the size up to 15 and that's it let's save this you can see the height is not good so we can again edit this for the height we will use 260 or 270 and that's it and same for this one and we will test this again so let's refresh the page So now you can see the fonts, the message and the second name. So this was it. One more thing is if you want to change the background here so you can just go back and you can edit a specific field, properties and this is the background. So you can change it to white or something, choose any of these colors. Then save this and then you will get a white background. And as I mentioned you can also integrate payments here. So for that you can just go to my channel and here you can search for form. You can see that I have videos about this form. Watch this video for integrating payments to this form. So hope the video will help you. Still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.